But just a little bit of history about yourself. Uh, where are you originally from? Which part of Italy are you from, Ruggiero? I was born uh, under the Nazi. Uh, uh -huh. the, it was in, um, during, under the uh, Nazi occupation in the top uh -huh. of a mountain in the, in the, in the Italian, um, the Abruzzi is called. And um, the Germans one day, they, they, I was a little child, but I remember everything. One day came and, um, and they requested us to leave the house and uh, because the entire town was supposed to be to be to be destroyed, which they did, so we left the way we were, and they took my little dog, and we the only uh, and indeed house by house, house by house was mine. The Germans they mined and they destroyed the entire house, the entire um, uh, the entire village. Well, this is a little town. Now, the, uh, this was November, and it was very cold with snow, etc. The only building with a roof was the cemetery. There was no other building available than the cemetery. Because since there is lots of snow, all um, deads are in, in, under, under a roof there. So people can visit their dead during in winter time. And so we went to our chapel, the family chapel in, uh, in, uh, in the cemetery, and I slept for seven days in uh, where my mother now, uh, now is, uh, is, um, is, uh, is, um, has been, has been uh, placed. And then after that, we, we went um, south. I, I crossed, um, we went south, we had no food. <laughs> and um, I crossed uh, the, 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 I crossed the line. And I, I, I reached um, the, um, the American line. And I found, um, I found the American soldier who looked at me, a little child, I was very young. And he gave me a, a can of, um, of beans. And you opened it for me, and um, and I ate it. It, it. They were sweet. They were Boston uh, Boston beans. They are sweet. For me, to have sweet uh, beans was very very unusual. <laughs> but I still remember. Um, I still remember this episode. <clears throat> then I grew up, and I saw the difference between um, you know America, that had you know liberated um, Italy. I started to tell myself, you know, there must be something special in America. So I got to go to America, and after the, uh, the PhD, I got an invitation from NASA. While I was there, I got an offer from Boston University. I went to Boston University for nine years, teaching everything, from prep school all the way to seminar, post, post PhD, extremely advanced course in mathematics and physics. After that, I went to MIT, 74 to 77. After MIT, I went to Harvard, 77 to um, low 82, I believe if I remember correctly. After that, I got the invitation uh, to be the president of the Institute for Basic Research, privately funded, and as well as we had three grants from the Department of Energy. Um, there was no colleague, no, no physicist, uh, either at MIT or at Harvard, that would understand my mathematics. They were excellent mathematicians, both, both campus, and they were excellent physicists in both universities. So I was uh, suggested to continue my research independently, and so indeed, I, that's the Magna Gas Technology was started at Harvard, on the request by the Department of Energy to put the foundation of what um, at that time the Department of Energy called an American fuel, the primary need for mankind, namely to have clean, environmentally acceptable energies. The bell at Nasdaq was in Times Square as tall as 10 stories high all the way. So it was the highlight of what the American uh, dream is true. And the obviously American, I see um, your beautiful white Carla there. Oh yeah, she's out of curious, there. where did you meet Carla originally? In a, in a, in a trolley in Torino <laughs> in August, uh, many years ago, 50 years ago. <laughs>